Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the 740 error message you might be receiving in the command line window. So if you're getting this issue, there's a good chance you're lacking administrator permissions. So make sure you have an administrator username and password that you have access to. And you want to make sure that it is completely correct and the password is right as well. So the first thing I'd recommend doing would be if you're having problems in the command prompt itself, you want to open up the star menu and type in command prompt. Best match should say command prompt above desktop app. You want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. And then if you receive a user account control window, you want to select yes. Now if you have any programs or applications on the desktop, you're more than welcome to right click on the shortcut or program itself. And then left click on this run as administrator option from the context menu. And then again, select yes if you're prompted through a user account control window. Another solution potentially would be to modify the user account control settings and see if that's what's causing the problem. And to check that out, all you have to do is open up the star menu and type in user account. And the best match should say change user account control settings. We're going to open that up. And now I'll just take note of where currently it's located because the default location should be the third tick up from the bottom where it says notify me only when I have to try to make changes to my computer, which is default. Try turning it off and then click on OK here. And then see if you're still experiencing the problem that you were before. And then I would recommend going back into the user account control settings at the end and then change it back to what it should be. This is just a temporary workaround if you're having problems with a specific program perhaps. And I should note that it's definitely an important security feature on your computer, so I definitely would recommend keeping it enabled most of the time. But if there's a known safe application that you're trying to run and you're getting an issue with it somehow, maybe try doing that and see if it helps resolve the problem. And then I would highly recommend re-enabling user account control when you're finished. So I do hope this brief video was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.